Hello everyone, I am Shravan and I am from New Dynamics. I work as a member of technical staff for the DR and backup r and team. Our team mainly works on the asynchronous flavor of replication, as part of which we get to work on some very interesting and challenging problems. Today, I will be discussing our work on the performance study we had done between the on-wire encryption through gRPC interfaces and secure TCP interfaces for data replication. Before we get into the numbers, let me briefly set the context for the presentation. So typically in distributed systems, based on the types of IOs, the data may have to go over the wire, especially in our use case of replication. The secondary write IOs have to be sent across to the remote sites. We primarily have the control plane and data plane services, which use RPCs to communicate and send data across to remote sites. While both the source and remote sites tend to be secure, there is an increasing need to ensure encryption of data in transit in response to cases where the network may be compromised. As part of Nutanix, we offer three flavors of replication. And this depends on the RPO or the recovery point objective, which is nothing but the amount of data that we are willing to lose. Based on the RPO, we have synchronous replication where the RPO is zero seconds, asynchronous replication where the RPO is one hour, and finally, the near sync replication where the RPO is around 15 seconds. We have gone in two directions to employ encryption in our DR workflow. Also, when we are studying uh, the performance numbers, we carried out experiments in all three flavors of replication. Initially, we picked the gRPC framework to leverage encryption for DR workflows. gRPC is an open source RPC framework, which comes with an option for authentication. The framework is very customizable in terms of dictating the channel properties and parameters. One of the drawbacks we had, to, we had while using this framework was the need to use separate ports for hosting the gRPC server to receive and send RPCs. As our architecture used the TCP server client to do the above. Thereby, we picked another route to leverage encryption in our workflows by incorporating TLS over TCP using the OpenSSL library. The same server client could now be used to send the encrypted messages as the server just needed to be tweaked a little to identify which messages were encrypted and which were not. Also, whether the client needed TLS or not. The next natural thing was to do was to measure which was better in terms of latency and performance and employ the same to fulfill the objective of having secure communications over the wire. Coming to the performance study, as I had mentioned previously, we will be using three flavors of replication to test the same. Firstly, let's have a look at the throughput numbers in case of asynchronous replication with various levels of data fragmentation. Also, we compare the performance of encryption in two different algorithms used for data replication, which yielded similar results, thus making the claim stronger. As you see from the bar graphs, the throughput speeds for the base case and TCP case are very similar while for gRPC case, it is slightly lower. If you are speaking in terms of pure numbers, the throughput impact for gRPC for, uh, uh, of gRPC for ALGO1 ranges from 3 to 14% compared to the base case, 
while the performance impact for TCP is less than 5%. Coming to the uh, algorithm two, the impact of gRPC ranges from 5 to 18% compared to the base case, while the performance impact for TCP ranges from 2 to 11% itself. This shows a clear sign of secure TCP interfaces doing far better when compared to gRPC interfaces. Next, let's move on to synchronous replication. For the case of synchronous and near sync replication, we used two types of tests to help with the same. The first is the max rate IOPS test, which helps measure the largest IOPS that the system under, under the test can deliver. The second is the fixed rate IOPS test, which measures the latency for situation where latency is more important than the throughput. Also, we have plotted the IOPS per second graph for synchronous and the, the near sync replications to give better picture of the same. Speaking in terms of raw numbers, for the max IOPS test, the performance impact with GRPC is around 5.7%, and with TCP, it is around 3.8%. The average IOPS can be viewed in the slide respectively for the base case, GRPC case, and the TCP case respectively. For the fixed rate test, performance impact with GRPC is around 4%, and with TCP, it is around 1.6% itself. The average latency in micro seven the microseconds is visible on the slides respectively for the base case, GRPC case, and TCP case. We again see the use of secure TCP interfaces has helped to decrease the latency when compared to GRPC interfaces, even in the case of synchronous replication. Finally, coming to near sync replication, we, while we see that for the case of max rate IOPS test, the use of TCP interfaces does slightly better when compared to gRPC. In the fixed rate test, the use of TCP interfaces did slightly worse when compared to gRPC interfaces. Through these performance numbers, one thing we can see that in most cases, the use of secure TCP interfaces does definitely better when compared to gRPC interfaces. Lastly, I would like to convey my acknowledgments to my colleagues and mentors, Naveen Kumar, Niranjan Pendankar, Ashok Dwarikanath, and Laser Belioka, who have been an integral part of propelling this, who have been an integral part in propelling this project forwards. They have been extremely instrumental at every stage of the process and without whom it would not have been possible. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Please feel free to contact me at the following. And also, please take a moment to share the feedback for the session.